he had some work opportunities that ended up not being what they scams <laughs> yeah. yeah scams I fell, I fell victim to a scam scam we are ryan in venice and along with our four children and two dogs we are traveling around the country in a 300 square foot motorhome we share how we work homeschool and play as we focus on faith our family and all the fun in between we are the rv adventure family ask us well how did you know you're ready how do you deal with things we couldn't do this without God and the Holy Spirit (laughs) and we learned to take our time because we are meant to be in a certain place at a certain time I've stopped apologizing for being late because being late could have mean could mean that I missed being in a car accident that I missed an opportunity that was not an opportunity for me we missed plenty of opportunities. Uh, the Statue of Liberty tour. We missed the ferry. We missed plenty of things. We wanted to go to a cathedral. This is just one instance where we know that God, the Holy Spirit, was guiding us. But we wanted to go to the cathedral in Ohio. Was that Cincinnati or Cleveland? I can't remember what city it was. But we weren't going to make it in time because we were leaving the campground and we are going to take our, take our RV, which, like we said, takes a long time. So... Instead of going to the cathedral, which was an hour and a half away, we decided to drive just 20 minutes down the road to a smaller church in a smaller town, I think in Norfolk, Ohio. And it was such a beautiful service and the people were so welcoming. And they told us about this amazing Marian Shrine, Our Lady of Sorrows, it was only 20 minutes down the road. So we spent the, the entire afternoon there. We drove there, it was a gorgeous fall day perfect weather and the the trees were red and orange we had a picnic underneath them we just took our time meandering I think it's about a hundred acres of grottos and trails and statues to our blessed mother and we thought we're not going to stress anymore about where we go when we're gonna get there because as long as we have our family taken care of, um, then everything will be fine. And everything has been amazing and wonderful in its own way. I mean, there's been a lot of challenges. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We've had a lot of, of opportunities to work on our communication <laughs> and our marriage, but we're still married and we still love each other. Forever. Right? So to this point. <laughs> So and it ain't gonna happen in an RV, all right? Yeah. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Trust I that. Say that all day. Our every mantra. Day. <laughs> Holy Spirit, come. That's like literally by my kitchen. Holy Spirit, come because sometimes you just need the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I mean, actually, all the time you need the Holy Spirit. Sorry. Oh, let me backtrack. Also in Michigan, we celebrated our anniversary, which is when we found out that we were pregnant. So that was a month into our trip, right? That was about a month in. I thought it was before that. I don't know. Um, so we were in Michigan, and I wanted to attend Mass on the, on Mackinac Island, which is a very iconic island destination for people in the Upper Peninsula, in like on Lake Huron, or in the middle of Lake Huron. And the day before, we decided to attend a Saturday Mass just in case we missed the ferry, which. We didn't get up early enough to make the ferry for mass and I was wanted to be upset about it right um, but the night before we decided to go ahead and attend mass instead of trying to rush and get to the ferry early miss breakfast and all that and we were really concentrating on our finances Michigan was where he had some work opportunities that ended up not being what they scams <laughs> yeah scams I fell, I fell victim to a scam scams he worked so hard on that and he was stressed out 
so much about trying to figure out a way to make money for our family and you know that's I think one thing that he's had to learn how to deal with on this trip is not having a reliable paycheck and so for the first time for the first time ever but you know nothing is guaranteed so he was so he was he was really stressed out and he was really working hard to find a way to provide and he spent probably a good 20 30 hours on a project on two projects that ended up both being scams I was frustrated um, because I wanted to start our business I just didn't know how to communicate that to him and he was frustrated because he wanted to provide for us and he needed he just needed a tangible income to help him feel better about our carefree trip across the country so we go into mass the day before our anniversary and we sit up we always try to sit up right up front no matter what time we get there we try to get very close to the front so we're in the front and we can't see anyone in the congregation behind us but apparently we're the only family so as we were leaving the ladies in the pews next to us and as we were leaving thanked us for bringing our family to church and we just thought well of course bring our family to church we would come on sunday but we plan to go to the island tomorrow and me and the girls were leaving and we were kind of in a mad dash to get to the car because it was super windy and cold that evening so i'm glad we didn't do back on the island on saturday because mm-hmm. you go to a ferry and the wind is just like crazy and cold in michigan at that time of year it was it october yeah. so a man stopped Ryan and um, when we were leaving church I guess we were already in the car at that time or something no y'all right beside me oh were we I she, wasn't paying I was talking y'all were, y'all were talking to somebody else and, and we were potting he just, just approached me mm-hmm. and he said son I know how difficult it is to, to raise a large family to have a lot of um, children and here's a little something to help you out so the only thing that I ask is that you spend it on a meal that you get a meal for your family. And I was, I looked at it and it was $100. And I was very gracious. And I said, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And when we got into the car and I went closer, it was $200. And our anniversary was the next day and we were going to be on Mackinac Island. <laughs> and everything on Mackinac Island is expensive. Yeah. So I was not going to ask him to spend money on a nice dinner we would have gotten like a hamburger or something simple especially you've been stressing about work um i put the tissues here just in case. and it happened <laughs> after i got scammed from trying to do freelance work online i was stressed about money and praying about this yeah and that was god providing for us so through the holy spirit and like she said mackinac island it is expensive yes. and we spent every bit of that on a lunch on dinner now we may have <laughs> ordered lunch. more things than we normally would have but I, I held to my word and I spent it I spent it on a meal on our anniversary family. it was our anniversary and it was our anniversary um, so the kids so each was, got like a full size adult meal it was such basically. a blessing and, the, and the, I don't know the meal was just it was different just because of everything that surrounded it yes um, so that was probably one of the best meals that we've had in this adventure or maybe ever and just... our waiter our waiter had four children too yeah he sure did so it was just no it's, it's it very was providential yes it's <laughs> one of these signs that god was like i've got you you just have to trust in me yeah. you just need to be obedient and so the theme of our of our travels is just um not just growing closer as a family and spending all this time but growing closer in faith so try to wake up with the rosary the word and um we spend every meal together now whereas before we were spending um we got one meal together whenever we lived in our sticks and bricks in our house and i kind of totaled up what our quality family time had been when we lived at our house and quality of family time i mean being together talking together doing something all together it might have been 18 hours a week for us to have quality time. And that is 
So less than three hours a day. Less than three hours that's a day. Probably more than I would say. That's more, that, and that's more than the average person. I, mean, I commute, so I would have to commute or drive two hours a day. That's total. Um, get home around six or seven. Eat dinner, and the kids are, we're getting the kids ready for bed at that point. And that's two hours. And most of the time, he has something that he needs to do, um, whether it be something for work doing something around the house that needs to be fixed mowing the lawn we don't have we have we do have things we have to fix in the rv but we don't have as many distractions and as many responsibilities outside of the rv yeah. i don't have a yard so it's kind of like living in an apartment except i'm responsible to fix everything <laughs> and we are very involved in our we're, we're still involved in our church community now that we're back um in in town but we're also taking it very slow we're not committing ourselves to more things in back-to-back things we make sure that we get home a little bit earlier um it's it's so amazing seeing our community here yes Um, we love our community we are just trying to stay mindful that we still have a focus we still have a goal and we still have to keep pushing for us to keep doing this, for us to provide sustainable income, so we can continue our adventures, and we're gonna we're gonna love it, and we're gonna take every moment as precious as it is for what it yes. is, as long as we can do it. Um, so we're just, we're just gonna keep going after it. It's it's not always it's not always, it's not easy by any means, but life is not easy. It's not easy to have a house. It's not easy to care for children. It's nothing. Nothing in life is easy, but it's just how you look at it. And this is an o- a great opportunity for us to grow closer to God, to grow closer as our in our family, and um, just to experience things that we would not normally get to experience. So, um, just wrap it up on that. Yeah. Enjoy. Like, subscribe, share this video if you found it helpful, yeah. and tell us your comments. Yeah. So. Let, us know, let us know what you think. Mm-hmm. We'll always love to hear from you. And, um, you know, if we don't love what you say, we'll just delete it. <laughs> have a great, <laughs> have a great week.